This is another version of your upper extremity nerve glides. So we call this either the figure eight or the serpent. Um, grab a free up drawer. Um, it kind of depends. How, the heavier it is, the harder the exercise will be. So vary that with the patient. If it's too hard, grab maybe a light ball or something instead. Okay. So for his case, he's going to use his right hand, putting that jar in his hand. Pinkies are going to go away from his body, just as he is, and your palm should be facing up the whole time. You might get a little bit of tingling sensation from this, but just make sure it's not excessive. You want to feel that stretch in your forearm and your arm from it, just like all the other nerve glides. Nothing excessive in the fingers. No numbness, definitely. Okay? So he's going to go either direction, either pinky side or thumb side first. We'll start first with the pinky leading the way. And so the pinky's going to lead the way, going underneath him. And then also once up top, just like that. Good? So that's one. And he's going to repeat that exercise with a set of five, maybe ten if you can tolerate that. Notice again, the pinky's leading the way the whole time. That's what starts the movement. So in the opposite direction, he's going to go thumb side first. Now he's getting an ulnar nerve glide. He should feel it down his pinky side this time. Good. And so he's going to repeat that exercise for a set of five, maybe ten, if you can tolerate that. Good. Make sure that his body is itself it can stay up. Try to stay up as, pos as much as possible, nice and straight. Don't let the hips and everything else get involved. Um, it should mostly be coming from the shoulder. It'll help with the movement itself if the rest of the body gets involved, but it really should be coming mostly from the shoulder. And those are your serpents or your figure eights.